Welcome to Gel Printing July. So yesterday, if you've seen that uh, video, I um, really felt like working with uh, turquoise colors. And, uh, and so I did. <laughs> but I also added a few other colors. And in the end, I, really, I wasn't that happy with, with the color combination. Although I have to say that when you see the colors on the plate, it's not always the same as when you see it on the final print. And uh, yeah, I do think that on the final print it looked better, but still, yeah, for me, the colors were a bit too harsh, I think. Now, today I still, <laughs> still feel like working a bit with those uh, teal colors. So I think thought that I would, first of all, let's keep it a bit more monochromatic today. <laughs> That's always a good idea when you're experimenting with colors that you don't often use. But uh, I also want to play with, and I have them here, I want to play with these two. These are uh, also from Golden, but these are high flow acrylics. So that means they're even more fluid than the fluid paints, the fluid paints that I used. They're more like acrylic inks. And so I have a teal here and I have a Titan buff so I can make it a bit lighter at certain places. But what I think, and I haven't tried it out, so I'm not sure, but my expectation is that uh, since the ink is so fluid that it will bead up on my plate uh, and not spread like a uniform layer uh, as it does when using a, um, a thicker type of paint. But I always love the look of uh, that beading up pa paint or when you get those dendrites. Um, I, I love those organic shapes that uh, are created. So I want to see, oh, I want to see how that works on uh, on the gel plate with those uh, high flow acrylics. So I'm just going to do yeah a simple experiment with that. Let me get my teal color and my Titan buff. So this is like an off-white color. Yeah, you can really see, I think you can see it on camera also, how, how fluid, how thin this is. And yes, this is exactly what I meant. Um, so you get that beading up look. Now let me get a stencil. Look at that. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, that, that is that is that gorgeous. Uh, yeah, I love it. Maybe some people don't want this effect at all. And then I suggest not to use too fluid, thin fluid paints. But uh, yeah, I think it looks awesome. <laughs> now, I think I'm just going to let this dry with the... Um, stencil still in place because otherwise I suspect that it could be uh, not that, that it doesn't keep its shape is if I remove the stencil now when there is still so much wet ink. It is interesting though because here it is not breaking up as much as with the wrist so what happens Ooh. If I roll it out just a bit more, but it can also be that it's now starting to dry already. And then it's not going to give that effect anymore. I'm not sure though if, if there will be any shape of the stencil visible when I remove it or if everything has just beat up also below the stencil somehow. Really not sure about that. Let's see. Let's look from the other side. It's still not dry. 
<laughs> it takes ages to dry. It is an awesome effect though. But I think that the stencil will not be that visible. But that could also give me a good excuse to see if I can add another layer. Let's see, is this dry? Oh yeah, it is. What happens if I add another layer on top? Well, I could test it here by just adding some of the Titan buff at this side, which I don't think will be a big problem. Very interesting, this look, actually. <laughs> Very interesting. So let me... I hope that I will be able to spread this evenly, though. I'm not sure about that. And I'm afraid I've made it way too thick also. <laughs> it's an interesting experiment, though. But I didn't want it this bright. Hmm. I want the color to be just a little bit lighter. But I guess I'm now applying it too thick. Let's see if I remove a little bit. So I have some scrap paper here to my side. Maybe with a little bit of water I can make it, break it up again, because I liked that look more. <laughs> I really have no idea how this will show up what the effect will be. A little bit of dripping even. <laughs> Let's see, I still feel that the teal is a bit darker than what I am going for. Let's dab off a little bit. So I'm just going to add some of this Titan buff back in. This is very cool though. <laughs> I really love that look. Now I don't want to touch this paint with my fingers, so that's why I'm using tweezers to lift this up. Oh, there's actually more of the teal paint here than I thought there would be. Let's have a look from the other side. Very interesting, actually. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it like this because, uh, uh, yeah, I could do much more with this, but uh, I've said it before for gel printing July so far. I just want to do the one pool prints and I don't want to add uh, all kinds of layers on top, but you definitely could almost looks like something in in the water with with uh, water lilies or water plants or something especially here below in the lower half looks really cool so yeah i'm going to let this dry and then uh, i'm just going to uh, take this print and see what it looks like i'm so tempted to add some color beneath the, the focal point. But 
I'm not going to do that. Now with a one pool wonder, what I mean is not that I couldn't add any layers here, but that I use only one pickup layer, usually with white paint, but it could also be a colored layer, to, to transfer all the layers uh, from my gel plate to the final paper, and that I'm not going to work on top of that. So I do use multiple layers sometimes on the gel plate and I let them dry. But then I transfer them all in one pool to my paper. That's what I mean with the one pool wonders. But I'm going to leave it for today. Uh, I think in other cases I would have applied or I would have um, added a more uh, shading and highlights so darkened the shape in certain places and lightened them up in other places but for today i don't think i'm going to do that i'll just leave it this shape so let me get my white paint See, I just remembered that I have this tissue paper and I wonder if I could work with the tissue paper. <laughs> I'm not sure. It could be a total failure. But I guess we are going to find out. And I couldn't wait that long because the white paint was drying. But I was just remembering that I have this tissue paper, which is a bit in a similar color. But as I said, I have no idea if this is going to work. Uh, it could be a total failure because I don't know if the tissue paper can pick this up or that it's going to rip. But uh, I will just take a look at it every now and then to see if I can pick it up. I'm really curious. I have no idea if this going is if this is going to work. Not yet, at least. Okay. In the meantime, I can clean up here. And I will check it every now and then to see if I can pull this print. Fingers crossed. That would be really fun. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, wow. This is awesome. So Yes, I have worked with uh, tissue paper many times uh, on the gel plate, not just as a tool, as you've seen me doing here in Gel Printing July, but also uh, to, uh, to create gel prints on. And, and tissue paper is really fun to use. It, it does pick up the paint in, in a matter, manner that I really love. I think I may have done this pickup layer technique once with a tissue paper. I'm not exactly sure, but I think I have. Um, but I've never done it on colored tissue paper and it looks gorgeous. It really does. I do think the paper enhances this and I do think you see a little bit, maybe you can't see it on the camera, but you can see a little bit of that blue teal color being enhanced by the tissue paper. So this is really cool and it looks as if it's printed almost on fabric. Now people always ask me how long do you let the pickup layer dry and I just cannot give you uh, an exact time because it really depends on, on so many factors uh, like uh, the type of paper but also the type of paint and the thickness and the room temperature and the humidity. Um, I did make 
in my gel print fundamentals series that I make made for Patreon, I did make a whole in-depth video also about this technique of uh, working with a pickup layer. So if you want to learn more, I really um, yeah, recommend checking that video out because uh, uh, yeah, that goes much more in depth. But as you can see, it is possible doing this also on, uh, on tissue paper and it gives great results. I still feel like this is kind of a pond with, with uh, water lily leaves or something like that uh, on top. And this is maybe perhaps a bit of a boat or some object that is in the, in the pond, in the water. This is awesome. So th the corners did not come off completely, but um, the main uh, image did. And also, yeah, almost all of the edges came off, really came off really nicely as well. So I'm really happy with it. I, uh, I hope you are inspired uh, with uh, this print. This is really exciting to uh, try out more. So uh, I, I have the, uh, the, how do you say that, the feeling that I uh, will be doing this also in the coming days much more. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to uh, see more of my videos, um, subscribe down below. A big thank you to all my patrons. Uh, thanks to you, I can do this <laughs> this month. And uh, yeah, I'll see you back tomorrow with another video for gel printing July. Mm -hmm.